And so from 1996 through 2003, right? I, and before that, I would watch my brother spend money on advertising in magazines, newspaper, you know, small radio stations and TV and shit. And it just, it never worked out. In 2002, a buddy of mine, hey, 2003, MySpace is coming. It's, and I'm like, what the hmm. fuck are you talking? And I, one of my friends who's all into the all that stuff, and he goes, no, look, you got to create a account. It's free advertising. And we, you can do it with your acting and your law practice. And so MySpace comes out, I get on there. Free consultations for my MySpace friend. And then a year later, Facebook comes out. Free consultations for my Facebook friend. And so I was doing video stuff back then just trying to engage people to come and get a free consultation with this weird attorney who's on MySpace. And, you know, it, it translated into people coming in. This is gonna be amazing. You got a lot of people on this call today. I think the biggest miss that people make in Thank terms of so selling much. it. And that's what a good marketing message, good it's branding about does. How does somebody do something big in a very short period of time? We're going to be transitioning here to our second speaker who built a 400 and actually I think it's up now from when we 469,000 <laughs> followers now was 68 when we copy wrote the event. Gosh, actually it was 67. Really? Is that from clubhouse or how, how are you still growing at that rate? I, I mean, so we got to go back, right, to how this all kind of started for me. <clears throat> and I became an attorney in 1996. So there. Well, yeah, I'm just showing everyone. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, th this is his this is his uh, amazing Instagram profile. Four hundred sixty nine thousand followers on Instagram. And holy crap. Is all I got to say. I mean, he, do you guys need to check this out? Follow him, Pop Brothers at Law. I mean, this is, look, public figure. Man, I'm interviewing a public figure. Woo. <laughs> All right, keep going, Mark. How did you get started? I mean, how the heck did you do it? How? From 1996 through 2003, right? I, and before that, I would watch my brother spend money on advertising in magazines, newspaper, you know, small radio stations and TV and shit. And it just, it never worked out. And his client base always came from referrals because good attorney, good work. People are going to come back. And so I watched him do that. And eventually her, I'm never, fuck this. I ain't advertising no more. It's taking money out of my wallet and people are still coming in because I'm getting referrals. So I tried, I did that from 96 to like 2003, because in, in 2002, a buddy of mine, hey, 2003, MySpace is coming. It's, and I'm like, what the hmm. fuck are you talking? And I, one of my friends who's all into the, all that stuff. And he goes, no, look, you got to create a account. It's free advertising. And we, you can do it with your acting and your law practice. And so MySpace comes out, I get on there, free consultations for my MySpace friend. And then a year later, Facebook comes out free consultations for my Facebook friend. And so I was doing video stuff back then, just trying to engage people to come and get a free consultation with this weird attorney who's on MySpace. And, you know, it, it translated into people coming in. Me and my brother turned our joke from about five years before that. In the parking lot of our office, we go out there to take our smoke breaks, you know, every five, 10 minutes or whatever it is. And I was doing a lot of cannabis cases, criminal defense. I said, look, we're brothers, we're lawyers, pop brothers at law. Seems like a good kind of jokey. I'm going to make cards and give them to my cannabis clients. And they loved it. And so that night after we finished, my nephew, for the last three years prior to that, you guys got to get on Instagram. You guys got to get on Instagram and teach people what you taught me. I don't fucking Instagram. There's this. I looked at it. It's all tits and pots, pictures. And, you know, I'm on Facebook. I got 5,000 friends. I'm good. I don't need that. And so now we're here at these studios. My nephew, you got to do Instagram. You got to. Tells my brother. So my brother goes on Instagram and puts in pot space brothers space 
at Space Law. And I say that because I hate my brother now, because if you don't know, now you'll know. If you do that, it creates that underscore in your name. So from then until now, and what's your Instagram? Pot underscore brothers underscore at underscore law. Because the other one is our backup. And, you know, so, but my, and my brother who knows nothing about social media at all was the one who decided he was going to sit there and create that. And so we took some pictures with Be Real and this and that. And then it became my responsibility. What are we going to do with Instagram? What is Instagram? And so I went to my computer and I got on Instagram and immediately got pissed off because you can't do shit on your computer. You need your phone. I'm like, oh, great. So now I got to have this thing on my phone. So I start screwing with it. And I right away noticed there's, there's really nothing that I saw of value. Like nobody's educating. It's all fun and games. It's cool. That's great. But what are we going to post about? And so, okay, we're going to post some legal shit. And then you had back then it was 15 second videos. And so I ripped something off from a guy named Tony Horton of Beachbody fame, because I've done all the Beachbody programs. And he says, I'm going to give you your tip of the day, your tip of the day today for working your tip of the day, drink some water, whatever it is. I say, let's do, we're going to do a 15 second tip of the day. And what are we going to do it about? I don't know. So we start discussing and then we decide what the hell can we get in 15 seconds? Well, let's do a series of tips on what to do if you get pulled over. And we're gonna hone in on cannabis users because they get fucked with the most because of the smell. And so we sat in the car, we're like, okay, let's, we'll hot box. We'll make it fun, we'll hot box. And my, I have my, my brother's two daughters, my niece, one of our nieces, my niece is, uh, is our secretary. And but, uh, the other one was there that day and they were watching us. And we were going back and forth trying to just, we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. And one of them said, dad, to my brother, let Uncle Mark talk. He's an actor. You just, you just smoke. You're, you don't sound right. <laughs> and so, you know, cool. So he did that. I spit stuff out. And that's really how it started. And then it was, I immediately saw a Jay and Silent Bob and looking at comedy duos with the straight guy and, the fun, and things like that. And like, okay, you're going to stand back there. You're going to fucking smoke. But when you say something, it's going to it's going to be a minute. We're going to wait until I have you actually come out and big brothers talking that you fucking, you know, live. and he, we're totally different people. And when we started doing putting this camera on us and I'm going, oh, man, my filmmaking career has led me to this. I'm not this is what I'm doing. And so in the beginning, I felt kind of like, eh. but then I was like, I you know, I know shit. <laughs> I know, hey, I know, I know light. We got to move this way, that way, whatever. And then putting scripts together and, and just coming up with ideas was very easy for me. And then right away within, I want to say two or three weeks, four weeks, we had 5,000 followers. And so going back to my Facebook that took me eight years to get 5,000 friends, I'm like, that something's going on here. What, what's, what's happening? And so that's when I really, for like a week, I dove into Instagram, researched, Googled, and, you know, just, I didn't understand algorithm shit and hashtags and all that stuff. So I start looking at accounts, big accounts, little accounts, noticing that big, big, they're hardly following anybody. And then, but to get people to follow you, you got to, you, you got to follow and they'll follow you back and all, you know, this stuff. So I would go to all these cannabis pages and just start. I had my phone in my hand 24 seven on the toilet, eating dinner, whatever the fuck I was doing. I then I'm following people, following, 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 following. I was following 10,000 people. 10,000 people were following us. And then, well, if you're a big follower, you can't follow anybody. I start unfollowing everybody, unfollow, unfollow, unfollow. And of course I lose some, I guess, or whatever. But then as I'm doing all this, we're doing the, the tips and we're starting to get questions back from people. Well, what if the cop says this? And what if the cop says that? And that's how we started creating the script. And it was 60 word, and we have a series of uh, cards so our business cards, 
which go in your wallet behind your ID, has the entire script on the back of it, but we have an evolution of it because we started with you know, 60 words then fit, and then it became 25 words as we were figuring out what's the easiest way for people to engage by, and, and still maintain all of their rights, remedies, and defenses when engaging law enforcement at traffic stops. And we, we came up with those 25 words. And then as our Instagram account kept growing, we, my, so here's another lesson. My brother goes to my, his son, have Wiz shout us out. You're friends with Wiz, Wiz, have him shout us out. Have you hang out and we got, hey, dad. And I, I already knew, I knew you don't, that's no, you don't do that. People pay a lot of money for those fucking things. I knew that, but my brother, no, no social media savvy at all. And my nephew goes, dad, that you, no, you, you can't, you don't do that. We, I'm, you don't do that. People, you guys have grown organically so much already. It's just going to happen. Watch. And sure enough, uh, a singer named B.O.B., uh, who I didn't, I don't, you know, <laughs> and he posted us one day, reposted us. And it was like, well, and then we got a bunch of followers, right? And so from 2015 to, to December 25th, 2018, we amassed 119,000 followers. And along the way, wait, what was very the time early on? What was the time frame again? From 2015 to de from January 22nd, 2015 to December 25th, 2018. And that was from from zero to what? Zero to 119,000. Wow. So three years. Wow. In, in, in that three years. And, and, what that bob shout out you know got i don't know got us five or ten thousand more just on that when that happened and then we would get little shout outs here from other smaller influencers and this and that and along the way and we would start getting calls hey we want to post something on your page how much well we're attorneys and we're teaching people and we had a, we still struggle with God knows how much money we have turned away because like we have integrity and we don't want to ruin what we were creating by, oh, these guys are now, they're, they're trying to sell us shit. Yep. I, I wasn't going to go down that road. Right. And so, so while we were continuing getting questions, a lot of the questions in the beginning or not questions, comments about the way I was dressed. And for me, I go to court a lot. I go to court 99% more than my brother. And so I'm, I got a vest and this is just, that's how I dress, you know? And so my brother with his he had sunglasses, hat. And so people started commenting on that to the point where if I was in the office on an off day, I had a vest tie ready to go. I'd throw it on, do a 15 second tip and take it off, you know? And so give the people what they want. And then the other thing I noticed was the engagement that, you know, somebody likes something, I thank you. Somebody made a comment, I responded. Eh, I don't even know how I still do it to this day. I, I, but that led to people calling us, you know, you answered my question faster than the attorney I have. I, I want to retain you. So I, we got countless, countless numbers of that that came in over the years. Then, uh, and, and so while we were blowing up on Instagram, I started throwing Pop Brothers at Law everywhere on all social media, but not being active on it, just having a presence, being there and setting my notifications on my phone. So if anybody did anything anywhere, I got it, I got it. So I could respond and because with attorneys, it just takes one case and just one person who might need help. And I didn't want to miss that. So I had everything set. Our Facebook page at that time had about 300 followers. And I was on vacation with my wife and kids Christmas, I'm sitting on the balcony, smoking a big fat joint. And my phone starts going ding, ding, which was my Facebook notification. And it was just did not stop. I thought my phone was broken. And I'm, what the hell's going on? I'm looking at my phone. I, I get on my computer and it took about 30 minutes to follow what happened and what it was we 
at that time had created our shut the fuck up Friday videos. <laughs> and we had it for every year. Keep your mouth shut Monday. Don't talk Tuesday. And we went on and on, but shut the fuck up Friday was, that was great. That was it. And so we did a video where we explained that three people who got caught in a raid at an illegal shop, two of them went, I volunteer here. One of them follows us, shut the fuck up. We got that case dismissed. The other two caught cases because they admitted that they were working at an illegal shop. And so that video got posted on a Facebook page called Respect My Region. Great little page back then out of uh, Seattle, a couple of, I think, college kids. It was a hip hop political page type of thing. And that video got reposted by Roger Stone with the caption, these should be my attorneys, which he never shuts the fuck up, of course, we know. And oddly enough, we had interviewed him two years before on our Cannabis Talk 101 uh, show at a conference uh, somewhere where he was, he was pushing Trump to legalize cannabis. And so he posts that. And I don't, just ballistics. 